created. You know, we don't think of Oklahoma really as being a hot spot for earthquakes, but that is exactly what it is right now. And that has scientists looking for some answers. And the Oklahoma Impact Team's Alex Cameron, he has been following the quakes. He recently met with the lead researcher on this to find out what he's discovered. The Big 12, uh, Kansas State playing. Uh, We just had an earthquake. Many Oklahomans remember this earthquake last October, a 4.7 on the Richter scale. But just one more in what geologists say has been a swarm of earthquakes plaguing central Oklahoma for a year and a half now. The earthquakes kind of started in this rate region. Research seismologist Austin Holland has been collecting data on the quakes, trying to come up with an explanation. Between 2000 and 2008 in Oklahoma County, there were a total of six recorded earthquakes. 2009 is when the shakeup started, 31 earthquakes. Then from January 2010 through March of this year, 15 months, Experts say seismic monitoring equipment recorded 850 earthquakes just in Oklahoma County. Put that in perspective of historical earthquakes in Oklahoma, the most earthquakes we'd ever recorded in a single year in Oklahoma was 167. And that was across the entire state. So what's causing all this? Well, here are the preliminary results of Holland's research, a poster he presented to a national seismology conference several weeks ago. You can see there's a lot of data there, but bottom line, Holland concludes these quakes are not being caused by the one thing many people suspect, drilling. It continues to be a possibility, but the connections are weak and it would take um, a much more research to, to in a greater understanding of what's going on in the subsurface to begin to attribute this to, to oil and gas activities. The types of high pressure, high volume injection wells that in theory could cause small tremors do exist in central Oklahoma, but Holland says the earthquakes aren't at all aligned with them. At the moment, I definitely, my gut is saying this is naturally occurring seismicity within the region. Holland believes naturally occurring east-west pressures are squeezing Oklahoma and causing slips along existing faults. If you get one earthquake to occur, it changes the state of stress around it, and then you can then cause this chain reaction to occur where then another earthquake occurs, which releases a little stress. And still even that, Holland admits, doesn't sufficiently explain the size of the Oklahoma County swarm or why it's happening just now, which is why he says his research isn't done. We'll continue to follow it. Alex Cameron, the Oklahoma Impact Team. Look forward to more stories on that. And some of you may wonder if all of these little quakes could be leading up to one big one. We asked Colin about that, and he says it's, quote, unlikely. And you can see his research for yourself. Just go to our website, news9.com.